It's time to play the 12 Days of Christmas. Brought to you by our friends at Margarita Adventures. Go to margarita-adventures.com. They've got all kinds of great gift certificates for the holidays. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a minute. Uh, let's see. We did pretty well last week. Uh, we had Kevin, and then we had Dave. This is the best. Get us all the way to question number six. This is the best we've ever been sitting at on day four. Having gone through six questions with five correct answers, that is pretty impressive. Um, so kudos to you. You deserve a pat on the back, especially if your name is Kevin. Because Kevin, I feel like, got us most of the way there. Dave, with some progress on Friday. But um, make sure, you know, if, you, if, you, if you're like, what are they talking about? Go listen to the podcast, kzoz.com. Just click on the 12 Days of Christmas. That'll give you the answers to this point. And a new one will be updated today if we get number six right. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Or we're going to do uh, 12 Days of Christmas? Yes, let's hear it. Okay. This is, um, we got we got a note this weekend. Somebody said, they sent us the link and everything. They said, hey, you guys always dogging on, on Star Wars. You shouldn't dog on Star Wars. They even have their own 12 Days of Christmas. So this was sent to me this weekend. I've not listened to it. I don't know what's going on, but this is the Star Wars 12 Days of Christmas. I figure if we get it done with now, Jeremy, we don't have to do it before the end of the 12 Days of Christmas. So let's just take our medicine and play the Star Wars 12 Days of Christmas. Here you go with the Star Wars, 12 Days of Christmas. On the 12th day of Christmas, a Jedi gave to me 12 troopers storming, 11 sabers swinging, 10 tuscan shrieking, 9 tauntauns trotting, 8 power converters, 7 lords of sithing, 6 Yoda proverbs, 5 Jar Jar I had no idea what they're talking about. 4 decent films, 3 X-Wings, 2 stolen droids, and a chew toy for my Wookiee. It's funny because, um, you know, they always say that Star Wars is every man's sci-fi. And like you, Jeremy, I had not a clue what a single one of those references were to. Except for a chew toy for my Wookiee, I guess. Wookiee would be a pet of Han Solo. I've seen that much of Star Wars. Hey, you're doing better than I am. To know. Uh, hi, good morning. What is your first name? Kevin. It's Kevin. Kevin's back? Kevin. Kevin, I'm back, baby. Kevin, the guy that, that got us the, all the way there, or most of the way there. Okay, good. All right, let's see how you do in the 12 days of Christmas. Uh, first off, uh, we have to sing. Add four prizes to the 12 days of Christmas on day four. All right. Uh, December the 4th be with you. All right, here we go. On, on the, the fourth, fourth day, day of Christmas, Christmas, Jeff and Jeremy gave to me four tickets to Zip and Sip at Margarita Adventures. Three pairs of tickets to the Mac and Cheese Festival. Two remote control toys from Hobby Headquarters and a Tascadero. And, and a, a two-night two stay, dinner, dinner and, and couples massage, massage at, at the Dolphin, Dolphin Bay, Bay Resort, Resort and Spa. Spa. Good job. All right. Kevin, here we go. Question number one. <coughs> oh, you okay? Yeah, yeah sorry. Right. It's okay. Just clear my throat. Oh, man. The, uh, the document reset. Okay, here we go. Okay. Maybe, were you doing updates to the document? Uh, no, do you want me to do the questions? No, no, I, I have them right I, I here. Got, I got them now. Okay. Question number one. Name the four albums that made it to the vinyl four. Never mind. Sergeant Pepper's Only Hearts Club Band, Back in Black, and Dark Side of the Moon. That's correct. Who's the man in the box? That'd be Kyle. Kyle's correct. Uh, our buddy and entertainer of the year, Matt Cross, opened a bar in Slow this year. What's the name of the bar? The Broad Street Public House. Yeah, it's even the location of the bar, too. Uh, number four, can you name the 2018 Mac and Cheese Festival winning chef and where they work at? Craig. Wingard and Pass Unified School District. Congratulations. Good yes, job. that is right. Moving through. Nice work. Jeremy's wife is staunch on him not using this personal item of hers. What would that be? Toothbrush. Correct. Number six. This is where we... I still use it sometimes. She doesn't know. Oh, gosh. <laughs> She's like a terrorist in the bathroom. I'm a toothbrush you? terrorist. Yes. <laughs> what celebrity did Steve... Craig and Brink appear with on national TV in 2018. 
Uh, I believe it was Valerie Bertinelli. Wow, good job. Wow, good yeah, job. Yeah, there we go. That's really good. <laughs> Steve, of course, from the Woods Humane Society. Okay, number seven. On, as Jeremy likes to call it, chartered territory. Uh, what household chore does Jeremy prefer Charlene do, even though it's usually the man or the kid's responsibility? He does not like to pick up his dog's poop. That is correct. Yeah, good job. There we go. We got a new question answered. Okay. Why will I not take my kids to the dance studio in Grover Beach? Because it's in the seedy part of town, you think that there's like bad things going on around it. Like the it's the where the um pot dispensary is. That is correct. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is it. Okay. You totally saved yourself. That's what you were looking for. <laughs> you totally. Wow. Okay, so where are we at now? <laughs> Number nine. Is that question nine or that was question eight? That was question eight, yes. Okay. Question number nine. And remember, first person to answer all 12 questions in the 12 days of Christmas wins the entire thing. Kevin, you don't mess around. Yeah. I listen every day. All right, here we go. Question number nine. All right. What? This, is, this game is designed for people like you. What local celebrity made their debut on the show this year talking about this type of river? So it's actually two. Uh, we need two answers. We need to know the le local celebrity, and we need to know what kind of river they were talking about. What local celebrity and a river? Yeah, they are talking about a river. A Lo local celebrity made their debut, meaning after being here for over 12 years, we finally met this local celebrity. On they the were show. on the show, and they were talking about a river. We need what? to know what the celebrity was and what river they were talking about. Oh, man. Or who the celebrity was, I should say. No, what? Ah, uh, uh, we tripped up the guy. Thank you, stump me. No, I'm not going to help you. Stump. Oh, we stumped No, I know. I think so, yeah. <laughs> you giving up? I don't know. I okay. don't know the answer to this. Okay, that's okay. Now you have a... You did well. I mean, gosh, you got us all the way to... Nine. Uh, question number nine. So, um, that's Answered where we're all leaving. Them. I'm sorry, what's that, sir? That I answered all of them but one. You they have, help. yeah, you have, well, no. no. there's 12 questions total. Wait, but. no, but the first day, the first day, the person didn't know what the first uh, answer was. And then Kevin called up on the second day, got us all the way to number five, and then six was answered by Dave on Friday, and then seven and eight was answered by Kevin today. So, But there are 12 questions. Yes. So, uh, so yeah, nice work, buddy. Um, so, you know, you know what I could, I could count on? Is somebody coming in and swooping it up tomorrow, answering the last the last four and saying, Good day, sir. <laughs> Listen, you just got to randomly get through. We have a ton of phone lines here. They're all ringing. I hit this button that says next, and it picks up the very first person that got came through or the next person in line, and it's, it's, it's Kevin again. So Persistency pays off. Yeah. So you're doing well. You just got to figure out who the local celebrity is that came in and was talking about a river and what the name of the river was. Okay. All right, thank you, guys. See you later. That goes for everybody. Those we'll pick up tomorrow. We're excited to add um, Margarita Adventures back to the 12 Days of Christmas. It's zip lining for four, and then it comes with uh, wine tasting afterwards. And you get a little tour of the ranch, too, right, Brittany? Yeah. yeah. On your way out? It is absolutely an amazing tour. So we are going above and beyond to give you a special treatment with our pearl tasting, along with a cheese and charcuterie board. And it's going to be a private tasting with a wine educator over at Ancient Peaks, our associated winery. That's good. So you're going to get to drink after you uh, do what is, some what, is pearl, what does pearl mean? So at Ancient Peaks, we have two different uh, labels that we sell our wines as. We have our estate wines. And then our pearl label are those wines that we actually put a little bit of extra time it's and energy stuff. into making. Um, it's definitely the uh, higher price point wine. Well, I'm make. sure it's all good, but I mean, it's, you know, it's the pearl. I always thought estate was the was the, was the the highest level, but the, you, no. you're taking it You're completely, no, you're more. wrong. There's like, is estate's like, usually, like business class? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, it's if better, you will. better than coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Estate usually estate. just means that it's, it's you know, it's it's the entry level. Oh, okay. I always you know. thought that the state was... Uh, and well, then and then so, reserve is... But they call theirs instead of reserve, they call it pearl. And a state actually means that we're growing it on our property ourselves. So it's coming off of the property. So everything is coming off the property. But those pearl wines 
they get the highest quality, newer French oak barrels. And we really spend a lot more time and energy and make them in smaller it's batches. the best rows of fruit, right? Best like, rows of fruit, for sure. It's the best fruit that came in. So when you're picking the, the grapes, you're like, oh, yeah, this is a pearl. Put it in this bucket right over here. And they have people that know how to do yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, well, not yeah. you and I, or you know. I'm I got. Sure. Oh, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't do. Pretty, but I would try to make it from the grapes. Do I you bought. designate the pearl? I bought it. No, you Joe's. probably have uh, the winemaking staff at Margarita. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm on the zipline side of things, so uh, that is all up to our winemakers. Now you've been there a long time. How you been? How long you been there? Uh, about five years or so. Okay, so you're like one of the OGs, right? Are you the longest running employee at Margarita Adventures? Actually, there's one who's been there longer. Um, but he's left a couple of times, so I think I may have more uh, days, yeah. days in the saddle. Once you leave the line, you, you, you lose your spot <laughs> in now, line. Bailey right. was here last week with Carl, and we talked about some of the history of the ranch, you know, which is always kind of fun, and you get that when you go out there. And we talked about that new zip line, which is like 1,000 feet off the ground. No, it's 107 feet off the ground. What is it? It's 160 feet off the ground. Yeah. Did you... Jeff have, hasn't done that Since one you've yet. been there for so long, did you have any hand in designing that did you like when you decided to put it in did you have a lot of input you're like you know what it'd be really cool from here to here so carl wittstrom the owner is totally the ideas guy okay. and it's all been his idea he's like i think that mountain looks like a great one to start on and so that is kind of how we chose where those lines were um but we definitely were involved in the process of you know seeing how fast they were running and where we should set guinea the brake posts and you're, you're the guinea pig i've been a guinea pig a couple of times has anything horribly gone wrong <laughs> definitely not <laughs> <laughs> actually our newest longest line we were concerned that people weren't going to make it all the way across so we had these special state-of-the-art robots designed by some Cal Poly engineers to make sure that if they didn't make it the whole way we, we talked could about get that them in. yeah so we talked about it because the first awesome. time i went on it um, I it, I didn't make it all the way, and it had to come out and get me. Oh yeah, I sent a robot out for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was you and, and Adam. <laughs> yeah, and so he he made it all the way because he's a bigger guy. I mean, he flew past me doing like seventy, and I was just like, Whoa, he probably what tucked was that? in. Like he probably saw yeah, you. Comet. He didn't want to be embarrassed by the, the the little robot to come out and get you. So he probably like made sure he got you know. I don't know, man. I just I had a headwind or something. What I is the, got stuck out there? What is the most extreme way you've ever gone down a zip line? I mean, can you share? I mean, I don't know. Uh, well, you know, so all of our guides, we teach them how to fly in a really aerodynamic position, which is backwards. I want to say the most extreme way I've gone across was, uh, the person going next to me was Dave Matthews from Dave Matthews Band. No way. It was pretty epic. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> did you, did you go, what'd you say? what you I say? Said, <laughs> I told him I was going to beat him and he was like, no way, I'm totally going to beat you. So we both get in this super aerodynamic position and granted the guy is a little bigger than I am and. Zoom past him all the way across the line. So you beat him. Oh yeah, totally and he's heavier. Beat him. Okay, and you saw he you said, said backwards is the way to go. Most aerodynamic. Yeah, backwards, head first, feet second. I've never been able to see that look at Wait. that guy the same was ever since that Adam Sandler movie he was in when he picked up a coconut with his butt cheeks. <laughs> Did you, you know? I, I, no, I'm not familiar with that. What movie was it? It was you know one of the Adam Sandler movies where he goes and falls in love with a chick. It was the one where they go to Hawaii, and um. I can't... Was it Brooklyn Decker? I, I, think I don't know. I think it was Brooklyn Decker that was in it. But anyways, I can't remember. Wait, um, wait, I saw... Uh, your face goes first, and then your feet go second? I don't understand. So, yeah, so you're planked out. You're basically, like, parallel with the line. Uh -huh. So your head's going first. Your feet are going, like, second. So, and you just... You're torpedo and head first. You're going head first. Yeah. You're, now, are you looking are you at the ground? Down? You're oh. looking at the sky. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I like that. Wear sunglasses. Otherwise, the sun will can be Can you in do your it face. so you can look at the ground? Unfortunately, not. We used to be able to do that. And then the state came in and said you can no longer fly in a Superman position. And so you can't go that way anymore. But you can do it on your back. You can. <laughs> but only zipline guides. We don't let our guests uh, fly okay, that way. Okay. Why <laughs> and, Dave, and Dave Matthews. <laughs> Why and not? Dave Matthews. <laughs> Dave Matthews. Well, it, I think I would rather, I don't know. Do you, do you like going that way? Uh, you know what? It's not as beautiful, but it's really, faster. Yeah, okay. But you're just looking at the sky, yeah. and it's like, I'm sure it's pretty, you know, the, scary at the first time. I wouldn't say it's scary. It's challenging because it's basically a, a core workout the entire time because yeah. you're holding yourself up in a planked out position while flying 30 or 40 miles an hour through the sky. Oh, okay. So, Otherwise, your legs just fall down. How long uh, do you zip line every day? Um, well, we're open five days a week this time of year, and my guides that are assigned guide shifts 
five days a week or out there every day. I'm in the office a lot. Oh, okay. But so I, I find my way out anymore. to the zipline course a couple days a week usually. That's pretty cool. I've only done it a couple times, like three times. And you've probably done it 300 times. Oh, way more than that. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, what it, you see some pretty crazy animals out on the ranch, too. You I mean, 13,000 acres, and it's in the woods. So I think one of the coolest sightings I've ever had was actually yesterday. We saw this coyote that was absolutely huge. And then we look into the mine shaft at the end of the last zip line, and there was a dead jackrabbit with, you know, bright red blood. And so clearly that coyote, we believe killed that little rabbit and then we came down and all of a sudden it lost its little food source so i bet after we left it went after that that rabbit here i thought you were going to say sasquatch <laughs> uh, no sasquatch up there no no sasquatch up there no just, sasquatch yet just killer coyotes that doesn't do it for you you see uh, <laughs> do you see what coyotes you ever uh do you see bear we see bear all the time we yeah. actually have Not a bear mine? that we named and uh the name is toes i think or something like that um, this bear used to come and try and eat trash out of our trash cans. And so we had to actually get bear canisters out on the ranch to uh, protect the animals um, and make sure that they weren't getting into our trash. So they're out there. Deer is the most common thing that we see all the time. And uh, this time of year, it is um, calving season. And so there's lots of little calves and cows running around the property, too. Cool. Oh, that's pretty awesome. All right, so margarita-adventures.com. You guys are running a holiday promotion right now, right? We are. So all of our gift certificates are 20 bucks off. Um, that means that for an adult ticket to come on a weekday, it's usually $109. you will get it at $89. Um, minors are $79. You get that at $59. And all you got to do is type in the code or holiday in the promo box when you buy them by each certificate individually in order to get that $20 off per person. And it's great for everyone. I took my parents out there. I took my you know, cousins out there. Whenever I've got family in town, they love to go out and go zip lining. If you're cousins with Dave Matthews, you could get him on. <laughs> he seems to like it pretty much. Yeah. Do you get a lot of celebrities? Um, we get a couple. We do. Yeah. Not, not too often. Yeah. Cause dude, uh, what, I forget, always forget his name. The guy that lives up there. Johnny the, Go yeah, Lucky. Yeah, Johnny Go Lucky. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he come came out. out. Yeah. Yep. Put the lotion on the skin guy? No, 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 no. No, oh, that's oh, Buffalo oh. Bill. Oh, Buffalo Bill. Yeah. yeah. Buffalo Bill lives up there, too. Uh, I haven't seen him yet. You know what I'm talking about? Silence <laughs> yeah, of the Lambs? Yeah, I know I'm t who you're talking about. No, he lives out in Pozo. Yeah. yeah. No, Johnny Galecki, the guy, Roseanne's... Uh, yeah, and he's on the nerd Big show. Bang yeah. Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, right on, Brittany. Thanks for coming in. So, yeah, we had... Uh, so, you, if you win the 12 days, you'll get four of these. You'll get to go uh, bring three of your friends, or you can give it away. You can gift this. What a cool gift. Uh, and it'll be for four people, and then you get to go taste afterwards with uh, a private tasting at the tasting room in Margarita, right? That's right. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Don't miss a moment. Subscribe to the podcast on Google, Apple, YouTube, and Podbean by clicking on Jeff and Jeremy at KZOC.com.